Okay, it's the day after Thanksgiving 2021. I just installed a oil catch can on my 1999 uh, Toyota Camry 2.2 liter uh, 5S FE engine. Uh, many will say that I don't need this because I don't have a GDI engine. I argue that this engine will have more and more blow by as it ages and it is quite old now. Uh, it has no blow by that I can tell. I mean, it's no, it's running great. Uh, it's a highway cruiser, so I get a lot of highway miles on this thing. Um, anyway, it's a lot of high speed too. So I put an oil catch can because as the engine ages, it's going to get more and more blow by. And I might as well get that gunk out of the engine, even though somebody will argue that they don't like how I installed it or whatever. Anyway, I got some oil hose and I went and routed it through here. And because I couldn't find a better place. A lot of people mount it where the ABS is to a stable place. I mount it so it's sort of shock mounted. It can move if the engine moves. I mounted it on a one inch aluminum plate, which I'm not going to be able to show you real well. I don't think there's any way to show you really well. It's down there. Um, it is mounted to the side skirt. Uh, I bent this piece of aluminum. There you go. There's the aluminum. I bent it and twisted it. Did a nice job, and then I polished it so it looks reasonable. Of course, no matter how I try to show you, I will not be able to show you. <laughs> so I used uh, lock washers where I could, and the only screws that I could find in the house. And this thing is on, and it should be able to flex with the engine. Yes, I don't like stuff touching the engine as well so I tried to uh, do real minimal this isn't touching any of these wires here so we're good in there and I, I I'm willing to change some routing here but I got to see how it works uh, and the hood should close just fine comes right off the PCV valve and uh, I don't know this does not um, vent to the outside air like a lot of these oil catch cans this one I want to be able to pass inspection in Rhode Island with this catch can, so I'm not going to route it to outside air. Other than that, I should be able to get the bottom off to empty it. I should be able to pull out the dipstick to look at it, and it should not come loose. I will check it and fix any problems that I see. If I see any abrasion on the on the hoses, I'll take care of it. The whole point of you know doing this kind of job is you got to keep checking it and make sure everything is okay like i do with the rest of my engine so it's not like i don't go under this hood every week because i am under it every week making sure things are good so all right we should be good to go consider an oil catch can all right i forgot to mention that the oil catch can has a baffle in it and i put half of this uh steel wool stainless steel wool it also came with uh, a whole bunch of fittings, which I used the 3 8 because that's what was on the car. It also came with O-rings, and they were all metal fittings, which is nice. It also came with some mounting screws that I did not use, and uh, some fake hose in case you want to hook up your water pipe, because it's water pipe hose. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't do that. And then uh, this is the old routed hose, so I'll keep that nearby in case the inspection people don't like how I did this. We can just hook it back up the way it was. That's pretty much it. All right. Okay, just to let you know it's working, check this out. You open this up and you're gonna get high RPMs. Look at that. There's a lot going through there. Maybe because it's not doing anything. That's bullshit. All right. Cool. Stay tuned for a ton of picks.